The Freeze Region Effect in Camtasia 2022. What the heck is it? Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. That's me holding the GoPro. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so let's head over to Camtasia 2022. And you may have seen this feature called the Freeze Region Effect. Now, if you don't know where it is, it is in the visual effects tab and if you don't know how to get to it click more and then click on it when you see it but if it's already there then just click on it from there so here you can see there's this thing called freeze region and there's a little tiny animation that comes up where it looks like there's a notification and then it's being covered up by the background which is the sky right? Kind of like, uh, you know, covering a mask. It's a simple but useful feature for mainly, in my opinion, if you are doing screencast recordings or mobile device recordings. I've tried to use it on videos like this, but there tends to be like glitches happening and it doesn't work as smoothly and I'll show you what it, what it looks like when it's not working well later on in the video but let's show you how it works well so like I said it's for screencast recordings now that's beneficial to us because I do screencast recordings all the time and I often do Facebook tutorials YouTube tutorials just like tutorials online and oftentimes what will happen is I'll be filming a Facebook tutorial and then like I'll get a notification or and in this case down right here in the corner my cousin messages me like while I'm in the middle of doing a tutorial right it'll just pop up or someone will click like or someone will do a message something like that so what this feature freeze region allows you to do is to cover up that notification so let me show you how it works. It might be kind of confusing when I'm first saying it. So if we head over to the visual effects tab, go to freeze region, grab the freeze region, put it on the screen here, and you can see very faintly, there's a rectangle box, and there's like an X in the middle, and then like all the regular stuff on the side. Now I will say that they need to make this a little bit more prominent because sometimes I'm grabbing it and I just end up grabbing like the whole thing. I feel like they need to make it a little bit more prominent, especially like when you're trying to change the size of it. It's like hard to see like what's actually going on, but I'm sure that they'll fix that in the later updates. So here's how it works. You saw that that notification was coming up there at the bottom. Let me actually, hold on a second. Let me just go back. I'm going to delete this. And I'm actually going to make this uh, bigger so that we all can see it properly. So I'll just put that bottom corner down at the bottom here so that you can see that's my cousin messaging me. So we'll put the freeze region back on and you can faintly see the rectangle pop up over here. So like I said, you know, ideally they, they I would want them to make it a little bit more visible because it's a little, it's hard to see. But anyways, Notification comes up over here. Let's say I'm doing a tutorial and I don't want that notification. Like that's distracting, you know, is not necessarily part of the tutorial. So if I take this and you want to make sure that it turns red when you grab it, which is hard to see. If I drag it over, you can see that it, it disappears. It's almost like a magic trick. And I can place it down here and it's like, it removes it so it's like this cloning mask thing so it's it's cloned what's happening here is it's cloned the beginning of this video where there was no notification and then now there was a notification and you can see part of it's kind of sticking out over here so then I can drag this side to cover it right and size it accordingly right let's just say like that and then when you play it let's just scrub through it when you scrub through it the notification is still there like you can hear the sound if I play the sound but 
you know, magically, you can't see it, right? So it's kind of like this cloning mask thing that's happening. Now, like I said, this works well when you're doing screencast recordings on mobile devices and on desktop, but when you're trying to do it like in a video of yourself, it doesn't work as well. And let me show you that part too, because I want you guys to see both sides here. So let, let's pretend that this, you know, my name popping up on the screen here, Jewel Tolentino, let's pretend, you know, that's a notification that I didn't want. If I take the freeze region and I put it on here, right, you can faintly see it like one over here and I'm going to drag it down and put it over here, right? And you're like, oh, it's working. It's working. It's covering it. Oh, see, I accidentally grabbed it again. It's hard to see. And you're thinking, hey, it's working. What are you talking about? Well, let me just size the... Ugh, hold on a <laughs> <laughs> so hard to see it, man. And I've been using Camtasia for 10 plus years. They need to make these nodes dots bigger. Okay, so let's just say I cover it here. You might be thinking, hey, it's covered. Like, it looks totally fine. But if you click out of it, you, I can see. I don't know if you can see. You can see that there's like, it looks like there's a glitch happening. It's not completely perfect, right? Because there's so many other elements happening. You know, I'm moving. I'm like an actual person moving. And then if you go to play it, you can just see like that part is just going to be frozen there the whole time. So you could technically have it flash, you know, really quick. Oh, and I can see here I didn't size it properly. Technically it's covering it, but you know, clearly there's like a glitch happening. So it's not the best for filming yourself type videos and there's like a lot of movement happening. It's best for the computer, filming the desktop, mobile, because for the most part everything else will kind of be static and then the just the notification comes up. So that's where it works best. So that's the main part of the freeze region effect. If we head over to the right hand side, you'll also see that they have some other features like changing the shape. So there's two shapes here, rectangle, oval, and instead of freezing the beginning, you freeze the end frame. Remember I mentioned it's taking a, essentially a capture, like a, like a screenshot capture of the beginning. If you click this, it will take it for the end. And I'm not sure what invert means, but if I click on it, it's doing this. Let's go back to the other one and see what it does invert. Oh, it'll bring it back basically. And you can also do things like rotating it. If you want to move it around the opacity, the blending of it. If you want to have more of a, a feathered effect and if you want to add corners, which is kind of interesting, which is kind of like oval shaped and then the ease in and the ease out. If you want to ease it in, meaning do an animation of it to cover it up and then an animation out. And those are the extra features that you can do in freeze region. So what do you guys think of the freeze region effect? Are you going to use it in your videos? I may use it, you know, if a notification comes up while I'm doing a Facebook tutorial. But for the most part, I probably won't use it as often as I use other features. So if you thought this video was cool, Make sure to hit the thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next video.